I'll have my usual. Hey there, cutie. I haven't seen you around here before. What's your name? <laughs> Weren't you taught that not answering a question is rude? Hmm. Oh, no need to get all nervous. I'll start. My name's Aomi. That's a cute name. Thanks, darling. Keep the change. I saw the way you looked at me when I walked in the bar. <laughs> Keep reacting like that and I'll just have to see how red I can make your face. Mm. This is the only bar in town that can make a decent corruption fruit lunar strike. Then again, it's probably because I'm the only one who buys them. People my age don't go to bars, but when they do, they think the name sounds too immature. And most people your age seem to think the names are either too colorful or corruption fruit scares them. It beats me. <laughs> Why do I drink it? Well, well, someone's gotten brave, huh? <laughs> if you must know, when I was old enough to start drinking, I got it since it had the word lunar in it. I am a Luna Moth. So... What are you drinking? You don't know. What? Did the person who brought you here order a random drink and leave you alone? Oh, don't look down. I'm not judging. Well, at least not negatively. Look, the people in this town are either old professors or college-age kids. The dating prospects are either a few decades younger or older than me. On one hand, we have old, boring men who can hardly get it up. And on the other, we have guys who would probably run through a minefield to get a little head. The problem is that they think they know what sex is, despite their lack of knowledge. They really just go for their own pleasure and leave. Not much fun, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, I just mentioned sex and your face turned all sorts of red. And here I thought you were a good boy. Hmm. You really liked that. I saw you tremble a little when I called you a good boy. <laughs> Don't deny it. Fine. I guess I'll have to pry a little. <clears throat> Do you want to be my good boy? <laughs> oh, are you okay? It looked like you were about to pass out. You're still trembling. You know, to be honest... You're the most adorable thing I've seen in a long time. I want to take you home with me. Is that alright with you? <laughs> you can't even talk. 
Oh, did I tease my good boy just a little too much? You're practically paralyzed. Why don't we finish our drinks? And then I'll take you to my place. Would you like to try some of mine? It's a little stronger than what you're drinking, but it's not meant to hit you hard. At least, not where normal drinks hit you if you're catching my drift. Not to, baby. How do you feel? Warm? Yeah, I can feel the heat radiating off you. You're not used to all of this, right? Are you okay? You wanna go? Oh no, honey. I'm not letting you go alone like that. Can you put his drink on my tab, love? Thank you. Let's go, sweetie. Just hold on to my hand. Good boy. Welcome to my place, cutie. It's been some time since I've last had company, so please excuse the mess. <laughs> I was hoping that walk would cause the corruption fruit to run its course, but you still look pretty flushed. I can't help but notice your eyes. Most guys would be looking at my tits. Not that I blame them, but they're just fixated on my face. Are you into older women? Or maybe it's the glow in my eyes. Or the dark color of my lips. I'm sorry for not being able to keep my eyes on your eyes, but... I do see something down here that wants my attention. <laughs> you shuddered at that. Does my long, dark tongue make you think lewd things? Do you want a kiss? Okay, love. Here I go. <laughs> Your legs are trembling. I'll take you to my bed. That way, I can do what I want to you without having to worry about you falling. Just hold on to me. That's it, baby. Come on. You can do it. I've got you. Just sit on the bed, it's fine. <laughs> You're so cute. Let's get these clothes off of you, shall we? Mm -mm. Look at those hard nipples. Are you sensitive? Most men your age wouldn't even humor the idea. 
But I think you'll let me, isn't that right? Good boy. Oh. I see you like that, too. Most men go their entire lives without having their nipples played with. You might not produce milk. Well, <laughs> I suppose if a guy was sensitive, enough milk would come out somewhere. Oh. Look at that. There's a damp spot over your crotch. Only one piece of clothing left. And I can see your cock straining under there. And with each pulse, I can tell that it's leaking. Oh, I can't wait to see that. My, my. I bet this isn't how you thought your night would go. Here you are, naked and horny in front of an older woman who's still completely clothed. Shy boys are one thing, but shy boys like you who melt at a single touch are the best. I will admit, the corruption fruit might have had a small helping hand in this. But that look of adoration you're giving me is definitely you. Corruption fruit just makes the drinker horny. Usually for monsters, the whole couple thing happens after sex. But you must really like moth girls, huh? Or is it older women? Because while my personality got you here, it was something else that made you stare earlier. <laughs> here I am talking while your cock leaks all over the floor. Poor baby. Don't worry, sweetie. Mommy's gonna take real good care of you. 